My name is Betty Fleming. I want to tell you about a small island off the eastern coast of Canada that has made quite a name for itself since it was first mapped in 1976. I had the excitement of helping in its discovery. July 23, 1972. Perhaps no new development in space is more significant than this. When Landsat was launched, the mapping community had a new tool to view the Earth's features as seen from space. The Canadian Hydrographic Service knew that there were uncharted hazards to navigation along the northern coast of Labrador and wondered if Landsat imagery could locate them. And I was a photogrammetrist working on the inspection of the aerial photography to be used for the mapping of northern Canada. I fit the position well because I had a background in aviation, a pilot's license, and knowledge of photography. We did a search of all the available images of the ocean along this coast, plotting every little white dot that appeared on the surface of the sea, and which were probably icebergs. However, one small speck kept appearing over again in different images taken at different times. We knew it had to be something geographically fixed. I passed the information along to the Hydrographic Service, and they had their survey ship investigate. It turned out to be a small, rocky island about half the size of a U.S. football field. When one of the surveyors was lowered by a helicopter over the island, a polar bear was climbing out at the same time, thinking that his lunch was being delivered. We were impressed that this early satellite could detect such small features. The island also helps define Canada's international boundary, as it was the most easterly point of the land at that part of the coast. We named it Landsat Island after the satellite that first spotted it. 